What's up, YouTube? It's Coconata, and today we're gonna be doing a Star Rail tier list. Now, what's this tier list gonna be based on? I feel like if you've seen any of my Genshin tier list videos, you might get a hint. But of course, obviously, we're gonna be going by the meta. <laughs> Psych! Absolutely not! We're gonna be going with something quite more shallow, but something I really like anyway. It doesn't matter. This is gonna be a drip list. We are gonna be grading every Star Rail character based on how well they can do fashion. Some characters just look amazing and wonderful, and I would love to cosplay as them. Other characters deserve better. And then some characters just have outfits that fit them. Trashy. But let's see who's who and let's begin. Let's go, baby. This video is sponsored by Buddies. Buddies is a social trivia party game that tests you and your friends knowledge on just how well you know each other. Buddies is perfect to play whether you're with your friends or at any occasion, like a birthday party or girls night. Over 100,000 people play Buddies monthly in Poland. You can choose from plenty of different theme packs, such as games, which fits my friend group and I, bunch of nerds, adventure if you're into travel, into oneself if you're into peace, and many more. And if that doesn't top it off, every person who downloads the link from the description will actually receive the love pack for free. I played buddies with my besties and, well, you'll see here. Which of you can do the most squats? Uh, probably none of us. Which of you cheats the most in games? <laughs> I think I know who it is. What do you mean me? At home jeans or sweatpants? Oh my God, sweatpants. Easy. Nobody's gonna do jeans. Literally everybody. Beautiful. So if you're looking for a fun time with your friends, download Buddies on your phone. Available on iPhone and Android. Thank you Buddies for sponsoring this video. All right, so here's the lists for, <laughs> here's the list for Star Rail. What I'm thinking is, I think it should be S for Slay. Like just straight up slay. A can be, uh, hmm. I would wear it. I would wear it. Absolutely. I mean, there are a lot of clothes that I, that I need to like start wearing anyway because like I need help with fashion. I mean, look at me. But anyway, it's fine. B is gonna be for comfy or cute, which, you know, if you're wearing some comfy clothes, that's fine. You know, it's, it's cute. It's cool. It's cool. C is going to be kind of like, um, I feel like it's mediocre. C will be if it's like mediocre and D is for tragic. Tragic is if like your outfit is just like, what the hell happened? Like, <laughs> I, I can already think of a few people who I would put in this, but we're gonna start off with the lovely Acheron. At this point in the video, Acheron's not out yet, but she will be out in literally just a few days. I'm doing a giveaway by the way. So if you want a guaranteed Acheron, come through the stream. But that's besides the point. Acheron is going to be so good, but how's her fashion faring compared to her power? So what I'm going to be doing is for each character, we're gonna look at their models on screen, but since Acheron's not out yet, we're gonna be looking at her based on the drip marketing pictures. So this is all we have for now, unfortunately. We don't have the 3D yet. So this is Acheron. She is looking pretty good. She's looking good, but her clothing, are we starting off strong? So, I feel like she has a really good, really good color palette going on. Her tattoo is definitely giving camp. I feel like this would be uncomfortable for me though, but I also have sensory problems, so maybe I shouldn't say that. The pants are so short, and I mean like, rock it, but like, is she ever uncomfortable? I really do wonder. Hair, beautiful, you know, eyes, beautiful. That has nothing to do with drip, I just wanted to say that. But with Acheron, I feel like for her, I don't know if this would be like my favorite because there's just a lot going on. At least the colors are cohesive. So it's not tragic at all. It's really not. I do love the heels. I wonder how she was able to get two different lengths for them. I wonder what, like that's pretty custom, but it's pretty cool. But I feel like for Acheron, she deserves better. Like she really does. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hope that we get a skin where we can see like even better for her. I know, I know, I know we're getting controversial. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you know what on her? This is a little hard. I honestly, it's it's comfy and it's cute. I'm gonna say that. It's like, it's it's nice in her own way. That's what I'm gonna say on her, but it's not the best outfit I've seen in the game. Best character? Yeah. Best outfit? That's a different story. Argenti, Argenti. Okay, so Mr. Argenti is very formal of a man. Argenti is such a, a nice knight. He is beautiful. Argenti, 
With him, I love how this outfit is. It, is it clunky? Yes, but you have to remember the lore. He is a classic knight of the knights of beauty. He's a knight of beauty, and it does show. I love the sparkles that go on his hair here. I really, really do. And with this, it's like... It's a cohesive color pattern going on again, and it's very classy. Like, you could tell he's got money. <laughs> Let me stop. I really like it. I think that, yes, like, the shoulder... Will it stab somebody? Probably. But maybe that's just part of his job. I would let him protect me. Absolutely. Uh, this... This is easy, especially with the rose for a touch. Oh, this is such a beautiful touch. Psh. Absolutely. I love that like he has rose gold in here. It's not just about like, it's not just red. It's not just silver. It, it's rose gold. And the way that he was able to actually make that baby fit, tch, not even a debate. He's a knight of beauty indeed. Next up is Arlan. With Arlan, he's got a bit of like a kind of an astronaut thing going on in a sense. I don't know what happened here. I'm not sure if he was trying to do a DIY. He was watching a YouTube video and he just kind of like stopped and gave up halfway, which is like so real, but he's got a half and half going on. I'm not sure also what happened with like the one knee pad, but I hope he's okay. He's got two gloves going on, which could be like very cool, but I just feel like they don't match. But you can you can do different colored gloves. You can do different styles of gloves. But like this just it it kind of looks like he just kind of put it together, you know, borrowed some of like his parents clothing and just called it a day. You see how he has like an elbow pad here and then he has like a knee pad. And then on this side, he's just chilling. What happened? Are you just like, is this what, what's going on? <laughs> this is absolutely giving reflective wear at night. And he has the ID to just like to make it match. So for him, it's um, I feel I can't be picking on kids, though. This is so strange. But you know, he's a kid. He's a kid and fuck it, whatever. It's fine. Arlan, I'm going to say mediocre. I'm not going to put him in tragic because he still has time to figure it out. I needed time too. if you saw a picture of me with makeup on when I was 18, when I first learned how to put it on. Yeah, exactly. Asta! All right, so Asta is actually, Asta's looking cuter for sure. Like, I love the shoes that she has. It's very classic and classy. I wonder if this bothers her though. I don't know why she has like one strap that's kind of hanging on the floor. It is bothering me a little bit, but whatever, I guess to each their own. But, I, oh, you know what I just noticed? She has a little bow accessory on her ankle. That's actually really cute, but it's really nice. Um, hmm. With Asta, the colors are cool. I feel like there is a little bit going on, but I absolutely love the blouse here. I mean, it's, it's really cute. And the sleeves are different like lengths, but sometimes you can just do that and make it work. And even though Arlan didn't make the different gloves work, Asta actually managed to make the different sleeves work. I will say that for her. And I love her hair too. Her hair is so nice. Like she, she's so cute. It's so cute. I love the back of this too. I'm gonna say this. With Asta, I feel like, I don't know if I would wear it, but it's really nice to look at. You know what I, exactly? Yeah, it's like a cute lab fit. Like she really made it her own. So I guess in this situation, I will say if I was working in the office, of, if I was working my nine to five, I would wear it. Mine is the hanging strap though. That, that strap is annoying me. All right, so aventuring. Oh, aventuring. He's got quite a unique fit going on but I really like it. Aventurine really does just have his own thing going on. I love, love, love the upside down heart cut on his chest. It is, it's, oof. And I love like all the gambling, just like accessories on him. I love the cards. I love like, I love all the things that really just have to do with really Vegas and gambling in general in there, which I do not advocate for it. Literally saying that as a gacha game player. But anyway, um, but no, this is, it's, it's cute. The socks are kind of funny. I love the pattern on them, but they also really add to it a little. You know what's funny? Um, the shoes kind of give Peacock the tiniest bit. It's just in the colors. Like in these colors on the accessory on his shoes, it, it gives me the slightest reminder of a Peacock, which is not really expected for him. But I mean, he's it, it also kind of matches. <laughs> He's such a cocky bastard. Oh, his coat is nice. I know we're talking about Honkai Star World here, but I do want to say that the way that Kaya has his fur coat on in Genshin, I don't know. I feel like it just, it's so big and it's just so, I don't know. I feel like there's just something, yeah. But with Aventuring, it's just a really slight bit and it makes him look fancy. And I mean, just like look at the earring on him too. I love it. And the way that his hair goes, it's, it's nice. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would wear it. 
I will wear it. All right, so the next person is Bailu. She is so adorable. Oh my god. Like the horns and everything. So cute. I think that this absolutely matches her. Even down to the shoes. The shoes, it's really funny because like if you look at the shoes, like what are they? Are they like, they're not heelless heels. They're just, they just stand up straight. Like how is she posing? But anyway, whatever. It, it looks like one of those heelless heels. But it's cool. I mean, she's got to be tired though, but she's also, you know, she's, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's literally a healer. She can heal herself. It is matching on her. It doesn't look bad at all. I don't know if it's comfy, but it looks like one of the comfier fits on a character. Absolutely. But it's definitely cute. I like it. Ugh. Black Swan. Do we even need to look at the model? Like, do we need to? <laughs> well, I certainly want to give the people what they want. Right. And give me what I want to literally look at her. The hips are just Mm. Shakira Swan because the hips don't lie, baby. Oh my God. I'm in love. Everything about this outfit is beautiful and down to the veil. She's wearing that veil for me, by the way, because she's marrying me. Okay. Well, she's marrying Acheron, but if they need a third bride, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. It kind of feels like a little bit lingerie-ish, but like in such a beautiful way, it's, it's hard to explain. I love the cut here and I love the glass color type of decoration that is on this part of her outfit. It's gorgeous. The ombre that is going on on her, I guess like headpiece is cool too. It's really cool. I wonder if this bothers her, this strap that's just kind of loose, but whatever. She's beautiful. Everything about everything about her. Is she just wearing a belt casually on her head? What is going on? I just realized that. I mean, she made it work. My God, how do you slay so hard with a belt on your head? Dang, even more reason. All right, slay because I'm biased. <laughs> Blade, Mr. Blade. Oh, Blady, as Kafka calls him. So this is Blade. It's really nice at the top, but I feel like the bottom just kills it a little bit. There's like kind of a mismatch in the colors. And obviously, like, it's a little damaged too, but he's fine with that. So, I mean, it's whatever. Like this part, oh my God, the colors are great. And I love the ombre in his hair. It's absolutely gorgeous. Did you guys see the Starwell live stream where one of the, uh, I guess like one of the staff, he actually colored his hair blade colors. I love that. Props to him. I love it. So, I love the one earring that is on blade as well. And with this outfit, it's, it's, there's, it's so good and also so off i feel like it, it could definitely be better for the it's just that bottom that's ruining it but it is what it is would i wear it no i wouldn't wear it but hmm, yeah if all he needed was darker pants if he just had darker pants it would be completely fine it would be so cool but you know what i can't say this is it's not tragic i love i love the bow that is on his back as well this part's totally good. So I feel like for him, his design is kind of plain. This is hard because like for him, he has so much good and also so much off, but the coat and the ribbon are great. The pants, all he needs is a pants change. It's fine. You know what I'm gonna do for this? I'm gonna give this like, I, I wish for here I could put like, I would wear half of it because I would certainly wear half of it, right? But because he just needs to change his pants, I'm gonna put it in Q. Even though it's not like Q, it's just, it's nice. Is nice, I will say that. Boot Hill, say it with me y'all, save a horse. Actually don't say that. Um. All right, so this is Boot Hill. The really funny thing about this is how somebody told me in chat that in his lore, he is actually not able to curse. Like there, there's like, he's physically unable to curse, which is really hilarious. And you end up just saying like cutie. He ends up saying cutie instead, which does match because that is what he is. Now for Boot Hill, it's definitely reminding me a little bit of like whole horse. I don't know why I just, okay. It doesn't remind me of whole horse at all. I'm just a Jojo fan. I wanted to mention it. Um, I love the bullets on his belt. The bullets on his belt are mad cute. This whole thing going on with the stripes. It is kind of funny and it, it, it looks, it looks a little like, I don't know how to explain it because I love the armor in his outfit and there's a part of it that even looks maybe the tiniest bit dated, but in a good way. His hair is also doing great. I mean, like, I, I wonder how he wears the armor. I don't know if I consider it a slay yet because I need to see it in full. It's not mediocre though. I'm absolutely loving the arms too. I think this is looking, uh, this is looking good. I really like this. He's Arlecchino if she was like gender bent. Oh my God, yes. 
I feel like with Boot Hill, I have to change the tier list a little. But like, I would wear it, but like, I don't know if I would wear it or if I would just like to stare at someone wearing it. Well, not stare at someone, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna change the tier list. I would wear it slash like admire it because I don't know if this is exactly Slay yet. I, I wish I could see it in full if I could t so I could tell. But I'm gonna say for here, Boot Hill is gonna be in this category and I had to change it up for, for this. I'm gonna say I really admire it. I'm gonna say that, I really admire it. Now, Branya. So let's check out Branya, right? It's funny because my husband, so Angel, j he just, <laughs> my husband just reached the 300 standard wishes and he got Branya. He's like, oh, I don't know who to choose. Just kidding. All right, Branya is just giving elegant. There's a lot. And would I wear this outfit? I would imagine myself wearing it because like this is just too much to put on at once, but it's so good looking. That's not me saying it's bad at all. It, because it's not it's like absolutely gorgeous i think that this is absolutely it's sparkling her earrings are so good and i just noticed the snowflake detail on them it's really nice i love the big symbol on here the big decal not decal that's what you would put in the car whatever okay the big accessory absolutely really in honka impact third these are her earrings as well oh my god that's so cool i her shoes to die for literally to die for I absolutely adore this outfit. This entire outfit, it's a slay. Like, I need these in real life. I would wear this with anything. I don't care. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Not even a debate. Slay. Okay. Salus. All right. So we're on my husband's account really quick so that I can look at Salus. Kalis. Sorry. Chat is telling me that it's actually pronounced Kalis. I am... <laughs> what is wrong with me mispronouncing names? Okay. So Kalis. Is it really Kalis? Is it really... But with him, his outfit is not bad. I like Trailblazers, both Trailblazers um, phone cover because they have the same phone cover and it's actually nice. It kind of gives great Gatsby. And I did do a tier list of a lot of the Star Wars characters' cell phone covers, but it's been a while since then. So if you guys want to see an updated video, feel free to comment it. Now with Kalis, his outfit is not bad. Uh, it's better than Genshin Travelers, but it's not as good as Wuthering Waves Rover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which Trailblazers outfit I like more, whether it's going to be Kalis or Stell, but we're going to figure that out later. I do like this like part that's on him. It looks like a ticket. I forgot about that, but it's cute. I think that it's definitely on the comfy cute side. It's nice. You know, you can definitely go to, uh, you know, maybe some formal places with that. So it's nice. Comfy cute. All right. Clara. Clara. Okay. Before we say the obvious, I just want to say that I love the color coordination on her. It's very Christmassy. But anyway. The feet, bro. Oh my God. Like I know very well that her shit's gotta be like, oh my God. Like this poor woman is gonna, not this poor woman. She's, she's a girl. This poor girl's gonna be in the hospital from like walking everywhere barefoot. But it's okay, she's earthing. <laughs> and like her outfit, her outfit's beautiful. She probably has the best outfit out of the kids. She really does. She has the best outfit out of the kids. It's so cute. It looks like luxury almost. No, it does look luxury. Just like, look at how new her stuff looks. And then you just go to like the, the, the feet and you just see nothing. No shoes. If she just had shoes, I don't want to put her in tragic. I really don't. I'm, I'm vouching for her. I'm rooting for her. We were all rooting for her. But I don't know if I could do this. I don't know. It's hard. This is a true tragedy because she had everything going for her, but one mistake caused her downfall. Tragic. She needs to twist her ankles into some like better habits. So the next person is Cocolia. Ugh. Like mother, like daughter, honestly. But let, let's just, let's go look. You know, she's insane. Yeah, but like she slayed while doing it. Kind of like Senora in her last outfit before she died. Rest in peace. Cocolia's outfit is nice. It really is. I love the, like, uh, the, I love the accessory that's here. But you know what? The green? I don't know about the green. I really don't. Oh, damn. She's, oh, she's arching her back. Damn, she's arching that back. Okay, girl. She is really asserting dominance. It's crazy out here. The shoes are great, but I, I want to say this. Her daughter did it better. I feel like Branya's outfit is just cooler but this doesn't mean that the outfit is not a sleigh it's definitely a sleigh but it's just not more sleigh than Branya. okay i see why she has the green for like the um the medals the medals she has the biggest scrunchie ever here which is so real i need big scrunchies i hate thin scrunchies i hate them so much thin scrunchies i break them i hate them 
So this is still a Slay, but I like Branya's outfit more. So definitely Slay, but Branya did it better. Now, Dan Hung. Now, here is Dan Hung. His outfit is very comfy, I think. I think it's one of the more comfier outfits out of the characters. It's not bad at all. It is, a, it's actually a nice outfit and it's, it's really nice. It's beautiful. I really like it. So it, there's really nothing bad about it. And his shoes, especially for a character who doesn't really care that much about material things though, this is very cohesive and this is nice. So especially with like the hints of gold, I think it's, it's really, yeah, there's, I don't really have any criticism. It's, it's good. It's good. I feel like this is a little more than comfy cute, but I can't heavily admire it. It's just very, like, I would wear it. I would wear it. You know what? I really admire it. He deserves it. Dr. Ratio. <sighs> well, a man of heavy education is also a man of heavy drip. Or is he? We're going to find out. He knows what to flex. He knows the right things to flex. Yeah, his outfit's really nice and it definitely matches him. And it definitely, definitely matches into his persona. Absolutely. Uh, just uh, so someone who is so philosophical with a beautiful accessory here. I, it's, you know, golden. Look at the shimmer as you like, as you scroll to the side. Do you see that? Do you see that? That's crazy. How did they do that? Oh, he does view himself as Socrates and like, so do I. <laughs> His color, scheme, his color scheme is gorgeous. Do we think his hair clip is an actual leaf or is it gold? No, it's gold. Look at the shimmer. It has to be gold. Because if you see the shimmer, if you see the shimmer here, it looks like it's gold instead of an actual leaf. So this is, I mean, it's gorgeous. And this chain is matching as well. It's like that little bit of purple that doesn't kill the cohesiveness of the outfit. It just makes it pop. You know? Yeah. Historic and hot. <laughs> He looks better with it off in, the, sorry, um, um, no, okay, let me pff, edit that. All right, so slay, slay, slay. He slays. Easy slay. Firefly, rest in peace. All right, so here's Firefly. Her outfit's so cute. It's, it's so adorable. There's nothing bad about it. Look at the shoes. The shoes are so cute. I love the parts that are coming up out of it as well. It is so cute and comfy. Easy, cute and comfy. And you see like, I know her name is like Firefly, but this low key reminds me of like a butterfly. Just this part that's right here in, um, it, on her dress. Uh, those like wings, it's beautiful. And it just matches her completely. Absolutely beautiful this makes me wonder if it's like i'm not gonna lie this is more than cute though like her outfit's so cute that i really admire it so definitely admire fushuan oh my god this is so easy but we're just gonna, we're gonna look at her anyway i have said this many a time fushuan has the best outfit colors like she's got the best outfit colors in the game now that i've seen brania again i was kind of like shaking a little bit but like i just fushuan is easy slay easy color scheme gorgeous this girl has drip she is dripped down to the gods like or dripped up to the gods even with like the slippers the slippers heavily match with like this part of the outfit everything matches the gold the accessories i love the constellations on here and, and how big the accessory is too it's so nice honestly it's a beautiful theme it matches her it matches her lore it matches her personality easy slay my man gallagher I love that he's a healer because he heals my heart. With Gallagher, his outfit isn't the best in the game. You know what I mean? At least the tie does match with like the pants. But I don't know. Like he doesn't have the best outfit, but like I like it. And I think it's its own thing. I really do. I would wear it too. I'm not going to lie. But like, I feel like it's not, I, I would wear it if I was feeling lazy. It's, it's basically almost, I want to say it's comfy and cute. Yeah. The pants are very 2012, but I like that. <laughs> I feel like he's just like doing his thing at work too. The two different gloves are putting me off again. These are two different types. It, it's it's throwing it's throwing me off a little bit. But yeah, he's he's chilling. He's chilling. Hmm. You're lucky you're hot. Japard! Japard Way, as I like to call him. Japard's outfit, I'm not gonna lie, it's really cool. It, it really is. There's so much and it looks luxurious. The blue, I am a sucker for royal blue. And if you see royal blue, if I see royal blue, I'm done. Like it sways me. The boots are plain, but this is one of the situations where I'm actually glad that it is because it doesn't kill the rest of the vibe that's going on here. It's not 
trying to overpower this outfit. Uh, Bronya managed to find a way to be able to have cool ass boots and a cool ass outfit. So Jepard realized that he cannot do the same, but he can still slay in his own way. This is a little hard. I don't know. Oh my god, he does have a furry tail. Oh. Since when did he have that furry tail? Why? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh man. Oh. Moving on. Gwynaifen! Gwynaifen! Our lovely Nihility streamer lady. She is so cute. And I love like the, uh, I guess you could, is it stockings that you call these? I forgot. But I love these on her. I love these like leggings, stockings on her. And she, it, it's such a sleigh. It's so freaking cute. There's nothing bad about it. It's, I mean, her shoes too absolutely like it's yeah the stockings with like, the rest of the outfit is absolutely wonderful happy new year oh my god she has yo under her bow she ha oh that is so gorgeous and look she's wearing matching gloves slay easy slay easy slay all right hanya all right, so Hanya's outfit is really nice. I know that there was some time ago, some complaints from a lot of people on Twitter uh, mentioning how the outfits of a lot of the female characters in Star Rail, I think at least for the ones on the uh, Sian Shou Lofu, were looking the same and like, maybe, but I don't care. I'm very easy to please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hanya's outfit is really cute. I just, I think it's absolutely nice. I, I really just don't have anything bad to say it is such a beautiful intricate outfit like she even has the strap to like prevent the boobies from coming out i'm sorry it's beautiful she's so gorgeous and it's yeah and i love her head accessories as well you see the um the you see the transition from blue to red Psh, it's so nice it really is i would so wear it but this is more than like an i would wear it this is such a sleigh i'm scared i feel like i'm putting everybody into sleigh oh no my girl, Hertha. Well, not really. She annoys me. But Hertha, she has a cute flower that's on her here. It's it's giving a little bit of like brought down gothic Lolita, but very much uh, chilled gothic Lolita. You know, it's not exactly gothic Lolita. Lolita. It's it's uh, how do I? What's the word for it? When you're like toning it down. It's no, it's it's not a bad outfit. It's not a bad outfit. Maybe it's a bad idea that I'm doing this tier list because I'm like I'm easy to please, bro. I got problems. Uh, <laughs> but with Hertha, it's cohesive. It's a cute dress. It's like, uh, it's a toned down, subtle gothic Lolita. And it's it's cute, it's comfy. There's not a lot I can say about it because it is a little plainer compared to other characters, but it's not bad at all. Most fashionable puppet I've seen. Himeko, oh Himeko. Ugh. Don't get off the train, please. Get back on the train. It's not even like a debate. It's really not a debate at all. Look at her and look at how she can keep the jacket open. I don't know how she does it because like I wouldn't be able to do that and it still looks so good on her. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. The everything. And look at her red bottoms, bro. She got red bottoms. Mm. Slay. Immediately slay. She's flexing on us. Immediately. Flex as much as you can before you die. Absolutely. You only got one life or maybe two. She said, I only have one life. I'm going to slay while I live. <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being stupid. No, she's, she's, it's easy. It's so easy. Slay. Hook. Ah, hook. All right. Hook. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. It's so cute. Look at like the stripes on the back too. Oh my God. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Like. Uh, I don't know. It's just, or not gorgeous, but like it's such a cute fit on her. It's like really adorable, and it just matches. It matches her mischief. Yeah, it it, it matches. So this is definitely like a comfy, cute type of deal. Whoa, <laughs> and her outfit is it's cute. It's chill, and like she has a tail, but it's not like Japard. Okay, don't get it twisted, y'all. It's not like Japard. This is actually tail. Like there's there's a reason for this. Okay, remember there's tail that's here and. He's part of her ult, and they talk, and they have lore, and Tail is there for her, and Tail makes a good father figure sometimes, so hear me out. <laughs> Just kidding. But Huahua's outfit is, it's cute. It's cute. And I love, oh my god, the socks that are here, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of giving like she's in school. It's nice. Yeah. All right, so it's comfy cute. Jing Yuan, who was once my favorite character in the game, but ever since so many other amazing characters came out, I don't really use them anymore, you know? 
Now, Jing Yuan does have a good fit. Now that I have seen other characters in this game and how good their fits are looking, early game, I would have called this an absolute slay. But there's a part of me that wonders if I just really admire it now because other characters really have it. And Jing Yuan had it too for a long time, but now I, I'm starting to wonder. It's not a bad outfit by any means, but now that we have the comparisons, he does have a lion tail charm. Oh my God, where? Ah! Oh, it's okay. Oh, that's, uh, that's okay. We could, that, that's okay. We could look past that. <laughs> but with him, I think with his outfit, I, um, I don't know. It's not striking me as much anymore as the other characters. So this one, I'm just gonna say I really admire it. Jing Lu. Oh, Jing Lu. Let's see. So Jing Lu, who is voiced by Amelie, who I love and is an inspiration to me because I am also a singer and I love just like, I love hearing Amelie sing. I just, uh, anyway, I could go on about Amelie, but this is, this is, this is about Jing Lu. This is about Jing Lu. We can't be biased. We have to grade Jing Lu's fit. So let's see. So Miss Jing Lu, she has a good design. It's like, I am liking the themes that are on here. You see these? Look at this. It's kind of giving the moon and the water. I really like that. And the blues are so nice. I am a sucker for some good blues. Now, this part here, a whole moon on her there, it's crazy. I really do like it. I just wonder if it's slay though. Okay, wait. That alone? Nah, you see how that moon goes? She's got the LEDs on her. Yeah, she's got the LEDs on her. She's like, she's at the party just like with the accessory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody's just like, everybody's just seeing it. Yeah, it's slay. Easy. Easy. Oh, look, it's Kafka. My wife. I'm not going to be biased at all. No, me? Absolutely not. Not about Kafka. Is she higher than Branya? Oh. No, she's not higher than Branya. Branya's outfit, amazing. Branya's outfit's one of the best in the game. Kafka has a really nice outfit and I love the butterfly that's on her, especially considering the butterfly that you see in like her lore. But Kafka has beautiful sunglasses here too. I love how they just like stick to her hair. I don't know how she does it, whatever. Uh, it's, it's so funny seeing the one boot, but then also the one shoe, but she ends up managing to rock this baby out. The spider webs that you see on her gloves, and then you see the white and the black managing to just make this really flow somehow. I like that there's a lot of both white and black, and it's not too much of one nor the other. And she wasn't trying to be too crazy about it either. She was very, uh, she was chillin'. Yeah, so she's got a whole sleeve coat in here too, giving a little 80s ish. I don't know, but not really in a sense, in a way. I'm... Not only would I say I would wear it, I have worn it. I've cosplayed as her before, and I'll do it again. It's a, it's a really nice outfit. It's comfortable to cosplay too, like more comfortable than other cosplays I've done. So this is this is a sleigh. Luca, Luca, let's go, Luca! Boom, 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 boom. So Luca's fit is. You know what I mean? Like it, it matches his personality, that's for sure. The different shades of red is kind of funny. It gives a bit of Guy Fieri. And then there's also just this part in the back. What the hell is that? What is that? Whatever, okay. Um. So I do feel sad that they kind of like spaghetti noodled his arms. You're right, like Ito, like Ito. Just like chat says, like Ito, he got the spaghetti noodle arm treatment, but it's all right, I guess. I love that there's the arm here that represents his boxing, which is cool. This part over here, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, did he just like, I guess he was in a fight and he got like a rip in his shirt, but he decided to still wear it, but he had an undershirt. I'm not sure what's going on here. I could put it in tragic, but it matches him. Like, Jepard, what his outfit was amazing until the tail was there. Clara, outfit was amazing until you see that she just can't wear shoes. The thing is, Luca, his outfit is ass, yes, but it matches him. It, I don't know why he has thigh straps on one leg specifically. Maybe it's for the training, I'm not sure, but it matches what he does. So I don't know if I could even say this is tragic. I'm gonna say he is either in mediocre or tragic. And right now he's giving... I'm sorry, Luca, but I'm gonna give you tragic. Sorry, babe. Actually, I lied. I'll keep you mediocre. Now let's see. Ah, Locha. Locha, one of the most elegant characters in Star Rail. I like him. One of the best healers, by the way. Best healer. He's amazing. Exactly. Let's think like this. He's from the underworld and that he don't got much compared to the overworld. Locha, mwah. 
majestic. I love the blues that he ended up making fit in here. It's really nice. It's beautiful. And I love how he was able to do it. So this is looking great on him. I think that he is the one of the most slay men in this game. Him and Dr. Ratio. He's the second guy I've put in slay. He's a, he's a gentleman. He will hold the door open when he takes you out on a date. And then you'll see his hidden inside. And he is not as good of a person as you think he is. Listen, if Kafka can slay and be crazy, if Black Swan can slay and be crazy, so can Locha. We gotta give it to the guys too. Let the guys slay too. Let the men slay. Let the evil men slay the same way the evil women slay. Okay? Evil quality. Oh my god, I don't know. I guess slay is looking overcrowded. I don't know. You know what? Let's bring Kokolia down. It's getting overcrowded. Kokolia, goodbye. Okay, Lynx. Lynx. Lynx's outfit is just really comfy and it matches for the weather. Like she, she's, she's got it. Like, look at how adorable this flower is too. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Stop. This is, yeah, this is why she survives. She has all this coverage, like going for her in the weather and she is a healer. Like the hat even has a tag. That's how you know, like she, she's got money to be surviving like that. Exactly. Come on, Uggs. Let's go. Yes. And I love the, the like the little snowflake accessories. Honestly, this is, honestly, this is more than a comfy and cute. I think that this is like, I admire this outfit. Like if, if they had it for like my size, I would wear it in the cold. Absolutely, I would. You know what, kid? You got it going on. That's awesome. March 7th, oh, March 7th, cotton candy colors, Primo Gem colors, March 7th colors. Y'all don't kill me because I feel like it's so cute, but I feel like it could be a little better. I know that in the live stream, they did talk about her maybe having different paths or something about her memories. And I hope that they give her more outfits for it. But with this, I, I yeah, it's, remember the other outfit that was on her during one of the, I guess the events, it was so cute. This outfit is casual and it is nice. It's not bad. It's going to be more like a comfy, cute type of deal. The colors are just, they're coloring. It's so cute. The shoes are a bit plain, but they don't kill the vibe though. We're going to give her a comfy cute. Misha! It's like, it's cute. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's not, listen, it is kind of like Farina-ish, but like Farina did it better, way better. With Misha, it's kind of just, Misha's just doing his job. Just let him do his job. You know, Farina from Temu. Oh my God. But it's nice for like work, but because it is a work outfit, it matches him. It's not tragic. It's really not. This is funny how there's like a strap on the low part of his leg and then there's another strap on his thigh. I don't, it's fine. You know, it's, it's chill. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, it's cute, but it's a uniform. We just got to put a mediocre. It's a cute uniform, but I don't know. Oh, Natasha. So my lovely lady with the same name as me, her fashion sense is just as bad as mine. It really is. What happened? What's happening? I really don't know. And she's wearing like medication on her neck. Is it really that urgent? I don't get it. It's, you know, she does have utility straps and I respect it. She takes her job very seriously. And she does have the bear to show her own like childlike side. She does, she cares for the children and she's also got like that childlike side of her own. Like, but she, she, she still does her adulting seriously. She takes care of the kids. She doesn't say fuck them kids. She says, I love them kids. And I appreciate her. She's an underworld doctor. Are you feeling sick? Then just call in Natasha. She does shoot the bear in the ult. Yeah, the, the ads did kill her. I feel really bad that the ads just ended up killing her because she she's such a fun character, especially in the beginning of the game, but the ads, man, the ads. Hi, I'm Natasha. I'm an underworld doctor. Are you sick? Do you need some help? Are you fucking mad that you keep seeing me every five seconds? Are you furious? Are you fuming? I'm an underworld doctor. She deserves better, man. Especially as like somebody who's really there for the community. I wish, I wish upon a star that they didn't make her this fit. You deserve better. Justice for you. That there's this whole butt window going on and you just kind of like close in and you're like, what? Uh, uh, miss? Miss, what's going on? Hello? What is th And then you just like see over here too that there's just like this whole, what is this? I don't understand any of this. I really don't get it. I don't understand that. Are these supposed to be, are these pants? Are these boots? Are these... What? Are these boots and pants attached? I'm not sure. This girl, like, did did she have a patient that was, like, angry at her? And they were just, like, trying to, like, tussle? I don't get it. I really don't. Oh, my God. She safety pinned her hair. Oh. She did not put a safety pin to tie her hair. That's true since she's from the underworld. True. Oh, my God. 
You know, it's funny. It's one of those things that like the longer you look at it, the worse it gets. She does need a five-star version of this outfit. If she has a five-star version outfit, I would change it on her immediately. But for now, tragic. Imbibiter Lune, or as I like to call him, BB Luna. And that's what we will call him from now on in this entire YouTube channel. BB Luna. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, no, but BB Luna definitely has a better outfit presentation than Dan Hung. I'm just going to put that out there. With BB Luna, his outfit, it's just really cute. It's really nice, but it's more than cute. It's just look at all the flowers that are on here. Flower, accessory, accessory, just like flower. There's so much, there's so much intricacy and so many intricate details that you just cannot help but put this in sleigh. Look at the beautiful earring too. Beautiful earring and the horns down to everything. It's, it's, it, it's giving expensive. He will look at you and, and he will just see like, you just can't do it like him. I can't do it like him. But he can do it like him. Slay. Nothing but a slay. Absolutely. I mean, just look at this. I would wear this so hard. I really would. And I love the way that his hair is, too. Especially with, like, the undercolor. And then you see the slight stripe of red. But it matches the red that's in his eyes. It matches the red that's in his accessories. It just matches. And his shoes also do not kill the rest of the outfit. It's, it's giving the rest of the outfit shine. Like, the middle. Beautiful. It's a slay, easy. Unlike Dan Hung, Imbibiter Lunae's got it. Pella, all right, Pella. Let's see with Pella. All right, nerd, let's see. No, Pella's adorable. Her outfit's actually really nice too. And the tights are cute, especially giving like the rest of the outfit a good match. It's not bad at all. Like it's, it's cute. I know I'm just putting too many characters in like slay and really admire it, but like this kid, I wish I dressed like this when I was her age. I really do. I wish that like I knew how to dress like this, but I don't. I dressed, I had uniforms and I had these whack ass polos and jeans that I would wear every day and these worn out sneakers. And I just, I'm sad, but it's all right. Anyway, uh, Pella, like, look at this. Her outfit's so nice. Oh, the accessory here. Is that a compass? I don't know if that's a compass or if, what it is. But it's so cute. You see the amount of, oh my God. And then you see this detail as well. There's so many details. It's not even funny. You, you have no idea like how much work Hoyo puts into the character's outfits until you actually look at it all up close. I can't help it. I can't help it. Y'all listen, you can get at me all you want. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not satisfied by everything, <laughs> but like, so I'm hearing that we have to separate the sleigh since it is getting too crowded. We need to start making a higher sleigh tier. All right. This is how the tier list is looking. Now, Chingsha, the character I think I use the least in the game. No, that's actually Hanya. Chingsha is the second least character I use. Chingsha's outfit is chill. You know what I mean? It's, it's fine. It's not a tragedy. It's just kind of like there, you know? It's, it's cute. Yeah, it's very basic. That's the thing. Eh, whatever, it's mediocre. It, it, yeah, it's mediocre. It's not ugly at all, but like, especially when you're pitting her against the other characters. <laughs> My girl got set up. I'm not gonna lie, she got set up. Mediocre. Ugh, Robin. Oh, Robin. Robin. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. I think we forgot somebody in Drip to the Gods. Jing Lu needs to be here. Because given that moon alone, that moon is crazy. Let me see. Y'all sing Hanya. Let me see. Let me see Hanya again. Ooh. Wait, okay, now I'm actually seeing it. You got me. You got me good. Hanya's there. All right, cool. Now, Miss Robin. So here's the thing. Robin is a singer. She's harmony. And I also am a singer. And I think that harmony just matches her because, like, literally, as like, just think about it. Like, putting harmony for the path on a singer is just so cute the purple that is on her the music note that's on her beautiful stage ready classic heels the halo gold with flowers on it the way that it's not just a sim it's not just a simple halo hoya went like harder and they put all these flower accessories on it literally just like where she went in the story to heaven to the gods rest in peace i love you <laughs> All right, now we're gonna be looking at Ron May, my favorite deadbeat mother. Oh, Ron May, her outfit is actually really freaking cute. It's not, 
as really amazing and stellar as some of the other characters' outfits, but it matches her so much. It is an instant slay. It's definitely an instant slay. So this is the DNA that you see right here, and the DNA pins on her hair as well. It's, like, absolutely gorgeous. And I love, like, this really nice, airy, and just relaxing design that's on her right here. And the flow... Honestly, the fact that they put this flow on the bottom of her kind of reminds me of Waves swishing. And I think that's what they were going for. So with this one... I feel like, oh my god, the DNA, like, thigh accessory? What is it? Like, the DNA garner? Garter. No. The DNA garter. That is so cute, too. And she has very classy heels. This is so slay. This is slay. This, this is slay. Let's go, baby. Sam. Sam, I am. Here is Sam's design, which looks so nice. It is really good on him. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of crazy. Like, it goes very hard. It goes really hard. It, it's hard to explain. It's, like, not the brightest gold. I will say that. Like, it, it, you know, some characters have it more. But, no, Sam is looking... He's looking very sharp. He's looking very sharp. For some reason, all these holes are starting to open, like, my tribophobia, even though it doesn't really make sense. I don't know why, but... Um, you know what I mean? Like, this is a cool non-human design. It is very sharp. So I, I, you know, I admire it. Absolutely. It's just, it's metal, but it's cool metal. Now, I wonder if they're going to make him look that hard when he's actually out or if they're just going to have like a dull down version of him. I'm a little nervous about that. But anyway, he's going to be in, I admire it. Sampo. He does have those hip windows. <laughs> yes, the scammer windows. Absolutely. Scammer windows. Sampo's, um... The hip windows are honestly saving him right now. I'm not going to lie to you. He's, but this is scaring me a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm not, I guess if like you get mad that he's scamming you, he might pull it on you like, boom. but it, it, he's looking a little crazy. You know, it's, it's very much, um, business in the back party in the front. For some reason, it's usually the other way around, but I guess Sampo just decided to switcheroo. Uh, <laughs> Not even neckline. What is this opening? He has the most random openings on here. Sampo looks good. I love his hair. And I love his hip windows. But the colors aren't exactly coordinating that hard. I'm just going to have to put a mediocre. I'm sorry. I feel bad that I, he's like over Natasha and Japard, But I have to stick to my words. He got the electronic album cover neckline. Stop. Oh my god. Screwlum. Oh, Screwlum. Now, Mr. Screwlum. I like what he has. I mean, he's... Listen, he's got better fashion sense than a lot of the humans in the game. I'm going to tell you that. His fashion sense, beautiful. I think it's really nice. And he's the most dripped out robot I've seen. He's more dripped out than Savarog. That's for sure. Even though I love Savarog with all my heart, but he is more dripped out than Savarog. He's more dripped out than Sam too. I'm sorry. It's very, it's very chill. You know what I mean? He's, he, he looks like he would be the type of man that's like, he really showed up and showed out with his fashion back then. But he grew up. He got older. He's an older man now. And he is just toning it down. But he's showing you that he could still dress. I don't know. I know there's green in there. But hear me out. The brown and green is giving me Olive Garden. And what I mean by that, it's giving the Olive Garden mints that you get after eating a meal. You know how good that tastes? Especially after eating some good pasta. And then you have a good Olive Garden, mint, chocolatey, and minty, chocolatey and minty. That's what it's giving. See, Screwlum is my Olive Garden chocolate mint. I don't know, like, unlimited Screwlum breadsticks. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the mint. I haven't had Olive Garden in a while. Screwlum is honestly a sleigh. I'm sorry. Sela! Yup! Sela, she has one of my favorite voices in the entire game. I love her voice. Her voice is so, like, cool. And I just think it's, like, one of the most unique voices I've heard. But, um, yeah. Sela's outfit. Yup. So Sela took a trip to the dumpster and just took what she could. And I'm so sorry. There's a lot going on. I'm not sure what's happening. It's actually very confusing. And... I think that Sila deserves better because she's such a cool character. See, these really short shorts, they would kill me, dude. Like, they're killing her. They're literally unbuttoned. She can barely wear them. Like, she scares me. How is she? I, like, she has a lot of trust in these shorts. It's crazy. And then she's just like, the sh some, some of this is looking great. It's giving very much. It's a mess. I'm really sorry. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. But her outfit's killing her. Killing her softly. You know, it's... <laughs> 
Killing me softly with this song. Killing me softly. <laughs> this one, I just, I don't know. Sila is like if you had a punk rock concert, but it was at the beach and you wanted to go swimming, but on a cool summer night, but also you have your armor in case you need to punch someone. That's like the best way to describe it, actually. <laughs> oh my God, that's literally what it is. It's tragic. I'm sorry. You deserve better. Serval! Let's check out our Serval. Serval! Okay, her outfit's like cute though. It's cute. I love, I love that she has a pants skirt. It's so freaking cute. I actually am a sucker for those outfits where it's like a skirt, but it's not a full on skirt. Like you actually have the shorts underneath. I don't know why I'm like a sucker for that. What does kill me is that this part and this part are not the same length. So it's like three different lengths. You have one length for the skirt, one for the shorts, and then one for the back of the skirt. So it does kill me a little bit. Oh, it got short again over here. Okay, there's a, there's, there's different lengths here. Okay. But I do like the white and black. I do like how things mesh together. Um, this is, there goes this, there goes this again, the different lengths than shoes. I wouldn't wear it, but I love that she rocks it. The only reason it doesn't look tragic is because she's wearing it i'm just gonna put that out there right now i love her hair so much oh my god it's literally just like it's 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 beautiful these these are cute plain earrings i feel like this is also kind of plain but like you know what i'm saying like i don't know i love the lightning tattoo oh my god it's so cute it's so cute it really is so freaking cute now i feel like with this it, it is rock like there's a reason to this there is a reason to this rock and i respect that from her there's also this random hole in the outfit. Oh, girl. You know what? It's fine. I just saw the hole in the outfit. Yeah, it's the guard researcher combo. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. This is a comfy cute, but it's a very chaotic comfy cute. I would be a little, a little nervous. Like I would ask her like, are you okay? And then she'll tell me yes. And I'll be like, oh, okay. I get it. All right. No worries. Do your thing. It's fine. You know, she, she's on comfy cute, but she's like on the bottom of comfy cute. Like she's, she's making the outfit. Silver wolf, silver wolf. Hmm. This is, I'm not gonna lie. This is like, this is so freaking cute. I really like it. I love the glasses here too. It's just, you see like the, um, the polka dots, like kind of comic bookish design on here. Some people might not like silver wolf's outfit, but I for one do. And yes, it's another one of those like, outfits where it's super short shorts which does annoy me why is there fishnet on the side of the shorts oh my god anyway whatever it's uh, okay it does match this though it does match this but it's cutesy it's very cutesy and um i love oh my god it's just it's so gamer it's gamer it's gamer and with this i admire it i really do it is very much more cohesive than sila's so this one i'm gonna say i uh i admire it i really do Sparkle. Oh, Sparkle. Sparkle's outfit, it's so red. I love it. I love the red. I love the butterflies in her eyes. I love the tattoo that's here. Like, just like, I guess like you could say the tattoo that's here. The fish accessory that's here as well. It's really cute. Yeah, the eye moles. Like both of them, right? On both eyes. That's actually kind of crazy. And the accessory that is here as well. Her personality is not giving drip to the gods. This is more drip down to the demons. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> I actually kind of like the glove though. Like she just has one glove. And she just has like, I don't know. Well, yeah, she has one glove and then also this accessory that's here too. Um, this one's a sleigh. This one's a sleigh. All right. Stella. She's going to go straight with her male counterpart. It's fine. Like, it, actually, I like her outfit a little better. Well, stop. I'm always like female traveler based. I shouldn't do that. Uh, like not based. Sorry. I'm always female traveler like biased. I have to stop. I don't know. I, I she, she is going to go next to her. Like what does confuse me? is the random blue. Why is there a random blue accessory here? What's the what's the blue part about? I don't, it was this supposed to match that? Like, I don't get it, but it's fine. You know, um, her shirt's part partially untucked, but it actually kind of works. I'm gonna put her next to Salus. So next to Salus, get out of here, Gallagher. Sunday, my third favorite day of the week. Look at how beautiful his outfit looks. Complete, like I am a sucker. I'm a sucker for men in white tuxedos and just like white formal dress attire. I don't know why. Like this man, I'm ready for Sunday. Listen, he may be Sunday, but I'm available seven days of the week. That's all I'm saying. Let me stop. He's literally like, okay. So Sunday's literally an angel. Drip down to the gods. He's, he's an angel. It only makes sense. Or like he looks like angel. I don't know. 
But literally the blue and white combo is mwah, crazy. I absolutely love it. To the gods, right along with the sister. Siblings of Slay. All right, Sushong! Sushong! Her outfit is actually like very cute and casual. Well, it, not casual. It's a little bit more dressy than casual. She's definitely one of those girls that you can be able to just like, you know, meet at a hangout and they're wearing just like a really cute casual outfit. Like this is their version of casual is what I'm saying. And I think that it's so cute. It's so cute. And I usually do not really like mustard or mustard-ish uh, colors like for clothes. But Sushong ended up making it work. I don't know how and I don't know why, but she did it. And I'm proud of her. The different lengths on the shoes does put me off a little bit again. But you know what? So many characters are doing it. Like, what are you going to do? Rest them all? I guess not. I'm going to say this one is more than a comfy cue. Like, I like it. I really do. Savarog. All right. You see, Savarog is crazy. See, I don't know what's going on because it looks he is wearing pants. But then he also has this part here. He has a part here that it, he has his whole Savarag Usi out. Like his robot tissy. And I wonder, I don't know, like, is, is he covered or is he not covered? I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't care. Let me stop. I don't know. I, let me stop. Okay. But no, I'm sorry. You know what's funny? He has a slight bit of fur on him. He's kind of fancy about it. Like, can he even feel cold? I don't know. But he does have the fur on him, which is really funny. And he's there to protect clara you know and i love that there's like this bit of red as an accessory to it because the red kind of represents like you know how clara wears red so that's how i like to think of it but he's got drip he's got drip compared to screwlum i'm gonna say screwlum does it better i'm not gonna lie but savarog is very like comfy cute his coat is like kafka's but kafka did it better i mean what who said that this one is definitely like a comfy cute like he's he's a comfy cute protector ting yun Oh my god, her outfit breaks necks, I'm telling you, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's an old ass joke. Tingin's outfit is just so cute. She has one of the best phone cases ever. I love her phone case. It's so freaking cute. Literally, look at her outfit. Oh my god. And she has that tail, but look at the red, look at the red tips. The red tips on her hair and on her tail. Cute. Like, usually characters with really big ears kind of like give me the eeks a little bit, but for her. It just looks so right on her. The accessories on her hair here are to die for. Look at these accessories in the back of her hair. It's so gorgeous. And she does have the fluffiest tail. Her shoes are so nice as well. Her heels that go into just like essentially just um, sandals. I forgot what those are called, like gladiator heels. And then just the gold that is here. I mean, it's, it's so gorgeous. She's, I'm gonna put her where she belongs to the gods. Her outfit is heavenly. It's to die for. And it just, it's crazy. It, it, this, you know, her, she's, I, I'm so jealous. It makes me want to snap. I'm sorry. I'm just being stupid. Topaz. Topaz. I love Numbi. Numbi, put Numbi, slay. Topaz. It's not a bad outfit, you know, but I hate her. So I'm sorry. Um, let me not be biased. Her phone on the back of her is so hilarious. I would steal it and I would throw it in the water. I mean, what? Who said that? No, but it's it's really, it's a cute outfit, man. It's it's nice. Like, I will wear it, but I don't know. I don't know how else to feel about it. It's very, um, I love the diamond and the crown that's on here. Butt crack? Wait, she has, oh! <gasps> is her crack out? Oh my God. No, that's a lie. That's shadow. Oh, that's, what? I didn't mean to. I wasn't. No, I didn't. That is shadow. Okay, that's shadow. All right. I got scared. All right. I got a little nervous for a second. No, because I was trying to figure out like, all right, all right, all right, all right. But anyway, um, the window, the win the outfit window here is cute. You know, the bottom, not so much. It's a cute cape. You know, it's giving Homelander just like her, except not as bad. I'm exaggerating. I'm not biased. So I'm going to put it on comfy cute because I would actually wear it. I, I would wear it. I don't see it. Welt, I'm not biased. I'm not biased. I'm not biased. Not biased. Not biased. Not biased. Oh my god, that's so crazy, guys! I don't think they have Welt on the list. I don't think Welt's on the list, you guys. I don't know what happened. Um. Uh. Yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying. He's not dripped to the gods. That'd be a. That'd be a lie. I know he does not dress that well. It's just so plain compared to everybody else. It's a cute scarf, but like this is literally. Oh my God, he is an animator. And I think that this is like Hoyo did low key, just like headcanon themselves into the game via Welt. And us just like lowly, 
humans compared to these amazing, uh, beautifully animated and just designed characters. Here goes the, the one glove thing again. Oh my God. Stop with the one glove. Did y'all just lose a glove? My God. It's not ugly though. This part that does confuse me a little bit is this, like these parts right here. The, the thigh and the hip straps. I'm not sure what those are. Like, I'm not sure why those are, but is there. Um, this looks like he put stoves on him. Like, you know, like the soap stove. It's like a mini stove. Like if you want to make some grilled cheese. And then this also looks like some like mini speakers. I don't know why I'm thinking utilities. I, I don't know why. Um, I don't get it. It's, it's very, it's comfy. It's not ugly. It's not ugly enough to be mediocre. It just kind of matches him, especially with the glasses. He's an old man. Let him do old man things. Let him, let him do old man things. All right. Shui. Shui's outfit is so cool. This part scares the shit out of me, but I think it's really nice. It's so cool. Like the, yeah. So this part scares me, but it does match with her. I love, it feels kind of superhero. Is it weird to say that because of the reds and the blues? Um, the claws in her hands are really nice too. Her shoes are cute too. I don't know how to feel. I really don't like, it is giving a little bit like Marvel. Unfortunately, I do love this. Like it's really, it's really cool. Um, does she have earrings on here? I can't figure it out. Oh my God, you can barely see it, but what are those that are on her? Wait a dang minute, what are those? I wish I could put her hair up so I could see, but there's a lot of gold here. I don't know if I would put this as like sleigh perhaps, but it's really nice. It's not ugly. There's there's a lot, but it like, it, it looks really cool. It does look like a symbol in her ears, right? They look like earmuffs, M maybe, perhaps, because I'm trying to figure out what the heck they are. Maybe they are earmuffs. Good, she doesn't hear me talking shit about her. I'm just kidding. But I don't know. It's not to the gods. But the color, yeah, the color combo is mm, bellissimo. It's really nice. I think this one's gonna be a sleigh. It's it's nice, it's, it's, it's intricate. Two more people left. We have Yan Ching. Yan Ching. Trash. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, let me see. Uh, his outfit's cute. His outfit's really cool. And with this, it's, um, hmm. Ooh, you know, the birds on him, I never realized that. The birds that are on his outfit are very nice. And with him, instead of gold, it's silver. And even then, there's a little bit of details of gold. He's a silver guy. He's a silver boy. Cause silver eats too. Dress is better than I did when I was his age. Fuck you. I'm just, <laughs> no, let me stop. Uh, I'm sorry, let me stop, let me stop. Silver boy, so he's always second rate. Nah, chill. I do like the intricacy here though. Like see the birds that are on here on, on his um, shoulder, around his shoulder. And then you see all the accessories that are here. He actually knows how to dress. I'm gonna be nice. I'm going to be nice and say, you know what? You actually know how to dress. Slay. I'm still mad at you though. All right, now for our last one, our lovely Yukong. I love Yukong with all my heart so much. She has gone through so much. She has had such tragedy in her life. But Yukong, like she has conquered so much. Like she's survived it all and she is so strong and she is so powerful and she, do I use her? No, but I respect her highly. And through all of the misery, that woman can dress. Damn. See, Yukong, she, she, she could dress, dude. I, the tail is really nice as well. Like, it's not, it's not the match of her, like, it doesn't match the color of her hair, but just seeing how fancy she can look is really cool. Is it like the greatest outfit in the game? No, it's not. But seeing everything that's here, it's still so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. The cuts here, the three cuts that are on the bottom and each side, I love it. Her thigh accessory, oh my God. Who else has gold on their ears is what I wanna know. Like I see, I see characters with gold, but she has gold on her ears. That tells you something like this girl is crazy. I love it. And she has the accessory here too. We're just gonna, we're gonna end off with a, uh, we're gonna end off with a sleigh. It's a sleigh. It's beautiful. We're ending this with a sleigh. So that was my tier list. And that's how I feel about all these Star Real characters drip, at least the characters that are out so far. But that's it. That's our video. If you like this video or if you disagree, either way is fine, feel free to talk about it in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. See you next time. I need some fashion tips from some of these guys. I really do. Bye, YouTube.